Definition and Overview of Feline Leukemia Virus, FLV. Feline Leukemia Virus, FLV, is a retrovirus that poses a significant threat to domestic cats and various wild feline species, including bobcats, lynxes, and panthers. Belonging to the gamma retrovirus genus, FLV contains an enveloped ribonucleic acid, RNA, strand, and upon contact with a host cell, it integrates into its genome, forming a provirus. This integration process allows the virus to cause a range of severe health consequences for infected cats. VLV infection leads to immunosuppression, making cats vulnerable to various infections, anemia, and the development of cancer and other tumors. Importance and distribution of flv felv has a global distribution with varying prevalence rates in different regions. The presence and impact of the virus are influenced by factors such as cat population density, awareness about the virus and its transmission, availability of diagnostic tests, and the use of effective vaccines. While some regions have managed to decrease FELV prevalence to less than 1%, other areas still face higher prevalence rates of up to 20%. Structure and genes of felv felv is a complex retrovirus with an outer envelope and an inner core. The viral genome contains three major genes, GAG, PAL, and NV. The GAG gene encodes core proteins, Paul encodes the viral enzymes necessary for replication, and NV encodes the viral envelope glycoproteins essential for host cell entry. Understanding the viral structure and genes is crucial for developing effective diagnostic and therapeutic strategies. Understanding FLV Epidemiology Global Distribution and Prevalence FLV's distribution is widespread affecting domestic and wild feline populations worldwide. The prevalence of the virus varies depending on geographical locations and the level of preventive measures in place. Countries with well-established vaccination programs and awareness campaigns have succeeded in reducing FLV prevalence significantly. Transmission and Risk Factors FLV transmission primarily occurs through viremic cats via various bodily fluids, including saliva, nasal secretions, feces, and milk. High population density, young age, and poor hygiene are considered risk factors for transmission. Pregnant viremic females can pass the virus to their offspring, leading to adverse pregnancy outcomes and the birth of weak kittens. Vulnerability in kittens' kittens are particularly vulnerable to fell V infection, especially when exposed to the virus at a young age. Their immature immune systems make them more susceptible to the consequences of the infection, leading to a higher risk of developing severe health issues and experiencing rapid perinatal death or weakness. Pathogenesis of FELV Infection Initial Contact and Replication Upon initial exposure to FELV, the virus replicates in cells of the oropharyngeal cavity. The outcome of this phase varies based on the cat's immune response. Immune Response Variations Fell V infection can lead to different immune responses in cats depending on their immune status. Immunocompetent cats may mount an effective immune response, preventing systemic dissemination of the virus, while immunocompromised cats may experience progressive or persistent viremia. Immunocompetent versus Immunocompromised Cats Immunocompetent cats can effectively control FLV infection, leading to limited or no systemic dissemination of the virus. In contrast, immunocompromised cats may experience viremia and become persistently infected, leading to severe health consequences over time. Clinical Signs and Manifestations Immunodepression and its impact, FLV induced immunosuppression leads to a range of clinical signs and makes infected cats susceptible to various opportunistic infections. Atrophy of the thymus and loss of T lymphocytes play a crucial role in immunodepression, leading to chronic infections and concurrent diseases. Anemia and its types. FLV infection can cause different types of anemia, including non regenerative anemia and regenerative anemia associated with hemolysis. Anemia is a significant consequence of FLV infection and can worsen the cat's overall health. Cancer and tumors linked to FLV infection. FLV has been linked to various types of cancer, particularly lymphoma and leukemia. Additionally, FLV can contribute to the development of malignant non-hematopoietic tumors, such as fibrosarcoma. Understanding these associations is crucial for diagnosing and managing FLV-infected cats effectively. 
Diagnosis of FELV Infection Virus Isolation Virus isolation is the definitive test for the presence of FELV, but it is not commonly used due to its sensitivity issues and time-consuming nature. ELISA, P27, test. The enzyme-linked immunoassay, known as the ELISA test, detects the presence of FELV antigen, P27 protein, in blood, plasma, or serum. It is highly sensitive and specific, making it a commonly used diagnostic method for FELV infection. Immunofluorescent Antibody Test, IFA. The IFA test detects viral P27 antigen within infected cells, particularly platelets and neutrophils. It is highly sensitive and has been used in field conditions to diagnose FELV infection. PCR techniques for detection polymerase chain reaction PCR techniques are used to detect FELV infection by identifying either the provirus DNA or the viral RNA in various bodily fluids. These tests are highly sensitive and specific and play a crucial role in diagnosing FELV infections, especially in cases where other diagnostic methods produce contradictory results. Management and Treatment of FELV Infection Confined Living and Preventive Measures Once a cat is diagnosed with FELV, appropriate management becomes essential to prevent further transmission and protect the cat's well-being. Infected cats should be confined indoors to avoid infecting other cats and to protect them from potential infectious processes. Regular Health Assessments and Care Regular health assessments, including blood tests, urinalysis, and deworming, are essential for monitoring the health status of felv infected cats. This helps in detecting and managing concurrent infections and other health issues promptly. Potential use of immunomodulators and antiviral drugs. Specific antiviral drugs, such as feline interferon omega and raltegravir, have shown promise in improving the clinical status of FELV-infected animals. Immunomodulators can also be considered to support the cat's immune response and overall well-being. Prevention and vaccination against FELV Significance of vaccines Vaccination plays a crucial role in preventing FELV infection and reducing its prevalence in feline populations. Vaccines are essential in protecting susceptible cats, especially kittens, from the virus's fatal consequences. Types of FELV vaccines Various FELV vaccines are available, including inactivated adjuvanted vaccines and recombinant non-adjuvanted vaccines. These vaccines offer a high degree of protection against FELV infection and its associated health issues. Vaccination Schedule and Recommendations Vaccination against FELV is recommended, especially for kittens. The first dose is typically administered at 8 to 9 weeks of age, followed by a second dose at 12 to 13 weeks. Revaccination is usually done one year later and can be repeated every two to three years, depending on the cat's risk of exposure to FELV. Feline leukemia virus, FELV, remains a significant health concern for feline populations worldwide. Understanding its epidemiology, pathogenesis, clinical signs, and appropriate diagnostic and preventive measures is crucial for veterinarians and cat owners. Through effective management, vaccination, and preventive strategies, we can work towards reducing the prevalence of FELV and ensuring the well-being of our feline companions. Ongoing research and collaboration between veterinary professionals and researchers will further our knowledge and improve outcomes for FELV-infected cats.